I had in my Cambridge days read a good deal about the Minoan civilization and found it very exciting. At a later date, when I was by that time <coughs> on the staff at Stowe, I went on a Greek cruise and went to Knossos and we were shown round the site by Sir Arthur Evans, which added to the thrill because he was, of course, an extremely distinguished archaeologist and had laid bare all that we were seeing. Because of my interest, I responded to the exhibition which had put on in 1936 by wanting to take up my classical pupils to introduce them to this world. And we duly went up to Burlington House and arrived in the middle of the morning. And um, to our great delight when we went in, Sir Arthur Evans himself was there. And he, seeing us, came over and began to take us round what was on view. Uh, we were round a case in the middle of the room and Sir Arthur was showing us some clay tablets like this one and saying that they were written on but nobody had made out what the writing signified. I was standing here, Sir Arthur was opposite, the boys, about eight or ten of them, were around us like that. And to my great surprise, during a pause in Sir Arthur's commentary, a quiet treble voice piped up and said, did you say they'd never been deciphered, sir? And that was the beginning of the story. Michael Ventris had been bitten with the ambition to achieve the decipherment.